Today we are so excited to be sharing with you all our girls Twin Desert Oasis Nursery. This is a room that has taken a lot of love and it's been so fun putting together. When we first moved into this house, I was 34 weeks pregnant I think, and so we were like, let's get the nursery done first. So now that the girls are almost six months old, we're gonna need to be transitioning them because they don't sleep in here yet and they're gonna be transitioning to their cribs. So there's a couple things that we'll need to change and stuff to make this room safe for them. But I wanted to show you guys all the fun little details and stuff before we take all of those down. Huh, do you guys like your room? Do you like your room? So here's Scout right here and here's Davey. Yeah, huh. And this is your room. So when you first walk in the girl's room, it has this cute little, hello, quiet, please, which is funny because we're not very quiet because the girls are, one's always loud while the other one's sleeping. But this was so cute and I got an anthropology. I'll make sure to link everything below. So if you have any questions on any of the items in the room, I'll link everything. Are you girls playing? <laughs> Hi cuties. The girls love playing on their play mat. This one's so fun because it has like little crinkle flowers and mirrors and the girls love playing with this mobile. Yeah, don't you scout? <laughs> so these are so fun. These are all hand knit and I love it because they have little rattles in them which are super fun and the girls love grabbing onto that loop on that one that one and the llama i feel like are their absolute favorite ones hi cuties while we're looking at toys i'll show you some of the girls other favorite toys this is a fun little llama it's a little musical toy and it has a mallet the girls love playing with these they'll sit there and spin those for a good chunk of time and then they also love this little music cube it plays a lot of different kind of music songs but that's really fun all right well i'll start with the room coming over here so this dresser has been awesome i thought maybe we would do like one side for davy one side for scout but we don't we keep all of our diaper stashes and extra wipes and stuff in the top and then we keep only the clothes in here that they fit in so are currently doing the laundry so not all of their clothes so we have like their jammies in one drawer their regular outfits that they can wear their church clothes in one drawer and then this is the kikaru peanut changing table i seriously love it it's so soft and squishy and it's awesome it's been winter here and so it's been a little chilly so the girls prefer to be on a blanket so that's that why that's there because it's really easy to throw a blanket in there <laughs> scout's so grunty over there <laughs> this is a little diaper caddy i found this at target and it's actually for like makeup and stuff but i just use it for diapers these are seriously the best thing ever for boogers and also the Nose Frida. I got two different brands because one's pink and one's green. And that's how we do the girls' bottles. So it just makes it easier so we know who, whose is who. And then just our lotions and hand sanitizer. This is my favorite hand sanitizer. It's the Baby Gannix Mandarin. It smells so good and my hands don't get dry after using it because I use it over and over. And then we're a huge fan of doTERRA essential oils. We use the oils on our girls' feet all the time, and especially like Stronger, which is an on-guard equivalent for children. It's really great for helping them not get sick. So these are our favorite wipes. There's a lot of really great wipes out there, but I love how thick these ones are. So there's that. This wallpaper mural was super easy to hang up. It's just the vinyl kind, and that was really fun to put up. Jay, well. I was pregnant and just watched Jake while he put it up. He was awesome. But it took him a few hours and he did it all by himself. We are a huge fan of books in our household. This little corner has some little bookshelves. We got these bookshelves at Ikea 
and they're so awesome. I think they were like $14.99 for each shelf and they were super easy to put together and hang. And so we put some books up here. Most of them are from Jake's childhood or from our travels, like Make Way for Ducklings. We got that in Boston. This cute Rosa Parks book. Jake's sister-in-law got us. We had an earthquake the other day. And so some of these books aren't, they're kind of all over the place. But anyways, so yeah, like this first day of school was a book from Jake's childhood. Jake's childhood. I grew up with Winnie the Pooh. We got this one in Boston as well. Cable car, that's from Jake's childhood. Aegis for Astoria, we got that in Oregon. So we love to collect children's books anywhere we go and it's just fun to have them all in one spot. Behind the girl's door there was this wall and I wanted something fun to put there. And so this is a cork board that we found at Pottery Barn. And I like to call it the girls adventure board. It has just the different mementos and stuff from the girls first travels and adventures, you know, the hospital and all of that stuff. So someday, hopefully this will be filled with just lots of fun adventures for the girls. Here's the view from this side. So you can see the adventure board and bookshelves and then a clock is always a must and a picture of Jesus. So this door is their closet. I'll show you guys inside. So in the girls closet, I keep all the clothes that don't fit and then everything that does fit, I keep in here. So that way we can use it or if we haven't worn items yet. So the girls are currently in like three to six month clothing. So these clothes are actually all ones that we still need to wear. Look how cute these Minnie Mouse outfits are. Little bunnies. There's lots of cute dresses in here. One thing I really loved that we got are these little dividers. I got these off of Etsy and I love how they just add a little touch in the closet. And then the hangers I got off of Amazon. I'll link to those as well. But those are just great little velvet hangers and I like cause the, them because the clothes don't slip off. And then I have little baskets in here of toys. So when we're, play when we're done with our toys, we put them back in here and just beanies and shoes and all that jazz. This has like the girls swimsuits. These are our carriers for the girls and their snow suits. So that's really fun. And then on the back of the door, we just have a hanging little shoe thing we got at Walmart for five bucks. I'll link that too. And just keep the girls hair bows separated and all of that. Someday I need to go through and color coordinate it. But for now, this is what it looks like. And then their laundry basket. So that's their closet area. I love the lighting in here. Found this light fixture off of Amazon. And I'll make sure to link where I got the bulbs too because we ordered a couple and they were so blue and it made it feel like it was a fish tank in here. And these ones are a lot more yellow and just more natural lighting. And then we also added can lights in here because before there was just this one light. So now when the lights are on, it's pretty bright. I forgot to show over here in the diaper changing area, we also have a diaper genie. The diaper genie complete is seriously my favorite because it has like a little foot pedal and it easily you can just dump the diapers in. And then I got a cute little night light for the girls. It's a little butterfly. I thought that was so cute. I actually got it for the girls' bathroom because their bathroom's like a pink butterfly theme, but it didn't have an outlet for it. On this wall has my favorite mirror in the whole world. I am seriously so obsessed with this mirror. And I love that you can kind of see the cactus mural on it depending on where you're standing. I found this and it was like super pricey online and it, I could only find it in Europe. And then I found it online at Anthropology, so I'll link it to there because it was half the price and free shipping. So I just thought it was so beautiful. It reminded me of traveling to Mexico and Mesoamerica and I just liked the sun. And so once the girls start sleeping in here, we'll have to move that or either bolt it down as well as with these pictures and the tassels and we'll also need to take the bumper off as well and the blankets and 
take out the stuffed animals and you know all that jazz i knew for the first few months of the girls lives that they wouldn't be sleeping in here because we have them in snoo bassinets that they sleep in every night and I knew that we'd be doing diaper changes and feedings and all of that stuff in here so I knew for me I just want it to be like a beautiful and peaceful and calm place and so I wanted just the borders and the pictures and I just wanted it to feel like just like a complete happy and fun room we got a green velvet rocker they have this on West Elm and Pottery Barn and then a little wicker table and then we like to do the google home on top of it so we can listen to music or dance or if i'm too lazy to look at the clock ask for the time and then just like a little night light and of course a poof and i like that the poof that i can if i'm folding laundry i can move it over here and put stuff in the drawers and sit on it or you know it has some options here's one crib we ended up going with two for safety reasons right now these end up just being kind of storage buckets we need to get pictures in these frames and i'll have to stop storing things in these once we have girls actually sleeping in them here's some little cute polka dot sheets all of the beddings from pottery barn my mom got these cute little stuffed animals for the girls on their blessing day and just a little cozy matching blanket Here's the other crib over here. And so we actually have video cameras for to like go over. So we're probably gonna put them on the sides and have them look over the crib so we can watch the girls when they're sleeping. We haven't installed those yet. We need to do that before we switch them over. Here's some little cute stuffed animals in here too. I thought these hand knit lambs were so darling. I should probably tell you guys too why I picked an owl and a horse. One, because they're desert animals, but in growing up in school, we actually dissected owl pellets, which is owl poop, and found bones, and that was really fun. So that was why we chose an owl. And we also chose a horse because we were in Arizona last time in the desert. We went on a horseback ride through all the cactus, and that was really fun. I love these cute tassels. I thought they just added so much to the room. Found these at Pottery Barn Teen. And then we did, for blinds, blackout ones. When the girls are sleeping, it's just a lot darker in here. And I like it because you can pull it from the top as well. So if you want privacy, you can pull it down so you still get natural light. Here's the girls' bookshelf. We seriously love reading. So just having lots of books was a priority for us. Also, here's a look at the girls' play mat so you can get the full effect. They're hanging out with their dad right now. I wanted the room to be personalized to them. So these are little puzzles with their names on it. I found those at, on Etsy. And then this cute little basket we got from a friend. She put some gifts for the girls in it. And then we have stuffed animals. I still need to go and take all the tags off of all of them. And I love wooden toys. This sheep is so cute and comes apart in like little rings and stuff and you can put it all together. Got this cute little hedgehog over here. These finger puppet books are seriously some of our favorites. The girls love them because they love seeing the little movement with your finger and the puppet. We got some building blocks. The rest of the blocks are actually all under those stuffed animals. And look at these cute little containers for teeth. One of my friend Jen got those for the girls. I thought those were so fun. The girls have their own little elephant diffuser in their room. We love to diffuse Serenity in here every night. It's kind of a lavender, different oil mixture, and it's awesome and helping calm and just really great. And then some more stuffed animals. Over here, we have this camel wicker basket. I saw this on Anthropology, and I just fell in love with this little rope tail. I just thought it was so cute. And you can find camels in the desert, so it just was a perfect fit to have as a toy basket. We have some little Star Wars toys. The girls got these from their first Disneyland trip. And Jake's mom got these ones for the girls and just lots of other stuffed animals in here. So 
My friend Becca made this cute doll for the girls. Lots of stuffed animals in there. I think this completes our girls nursery tour. Here's one last spin at the whole room. Well, that's a wrap on our girls nursery tour. Thanks so much for joining us at this desert oasis. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. Like I mentioned before, I'll link all the products below as well as I'll link a blog post to the girls room where it has lots of cute detail shots and stuff. So if you wanna see more items close up and things like that, it will be there. Hi girls. <laughs> hey little angels. Thanks for showing us around your room. We love you.